is National Spay and Neuter Awareness Month, and we wanted to take some time to talk about why that's so important. Yeah, Precision uh, Veterinary just opened in November on the city's west side with the goal of making those procedures more affordable for pet owners. And here with more are Precision's founders, Megan Shu and George Stark. Good morning, guys. Thanks for coming in. Hi. Morning. Thanks, Thanks for having us. And this is a big, big deal. I know we've heard it for years. We were talking about Bob Barker's <laughs> message. You know, talk a little bit about the importance and how this is really not going away. Yeah, I think um, this kind of stemmed from a dream of mine working um, in an internship with UW for a long time in low-income communities, um, getting that exposure to people who don't have access to veterinary care and, and aren't able to afford it, and um, just kind of took a step back and looked at the bigger picture and, and what, you know, is the cause of all of this, and one thing that it comes down to is a lot of people are unable to afford even basic preventative care like spay and neuter, basic vaccines. Uh, so being able to offer that to community and bring that to Madison uh, for people was kind of where this all sparked out of. Right. What kind of issues do you guys see um, from the lack of, of awareness and knowledge in this issue? Because it does seem pretty simple to do, but obviously right. not everybody's doing it. Yeah, and I think one of the biggest things that we see is it's easy for things to get out of control. It's easy for somebody to have two pets, which, you know, very rapidly can become more than that. So. Um, finding a way to offer people resources so that they can stay at just the two pets that they originally <laughs> wanted and were able to take care of um, is super helpful. I think part of this is also solving problems in the future. So, I mean, spaying and neutering doesn't immediately seem like a pressing medical need, right? You could get through your entire life and not be spayed and neutered, and you'd probably be okay. The trick is all of the future generations, where do pets that were unwanted come from in the first place? Which is, I think, a lot of the importance of this procedure is trying to prevent future generations from winding up in the situations you see currently. Do you think some of the concerns come down to trust? You know, I know I was growing up with dogs, cats. It was always like, you don't want to bring them in because it's just always that fear of just not knowing what you're going to, you know, come across going into the vet. Yeah, and I think that's, you know, especially a concern when we're talking about um, trying to reach communities that haven't traditionally spayed or neutered and have seen their pet be fine. Um, you know, being able to reach out and, and let people know that, you know, we're doing things as safely and efficiently as possible, um, trying to reduce anesthetic time, and um, overall just really, really um, paying attention to their, their pet on an individual level and trying to make things as safe as possible. I think a lot of people just overestimate the impact this actually has on their pet's life in mm -hmm. terms of the amount of discomfort they're going to experience, what kind of changes are going to happen. And most people are really surprised when we bring their dog out at the end of the day and he's just wagging his tail running around. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Be awake. yeah, let's uh, make sure we give folks the information about your guys' clinic here. Uh, $60 for cats, 120 for dogs, and you can find more information at precisionveterinary.com. You're over on Odana Road and you've been over there for a few months now. Things going pretty well. Yeah. yeah. Great. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for waking up with us. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you. you guys. All Good right. Yeah, of course. So I feel like a broken record, but you are going to want all of